Hi, I'm Anna Zimmerman with the LSU Ag Center, and today we're going to talk a little bit about seeding your vegetables for fall. Um, it's July 22nd here in New Orleans, so it's time, believe it or not, to start thinking about our cool season crops, including a lot of our coal crops like broccoli, cauliflower, um, you know, kale. It's a little early for some of that stuff, but if you follow the recently updated Louisiana Vegetable Growing Guide, you can follow the planting dates and it's been updated to reflect north and south Louisiana, which is awesome. So here in New Orleans, we're obviously in south Louisiana, so we're going to follow those dates. And I've highlighted what can be seeded now. And today we're going to do our cauliflower. So if you see here, it's got the planting dates for fall, 7-1 through 10-15. And then north Louisiana, you do want to hold off um, until mid you know, July, and you can go a little later as well. So it's been tweaked. It's a really good resource. This is available online, and I highly recommend everyone keeps this printed out wherever they store their seeds for the year, because it is a really good go-to. So today we're going to seed some cauliflower. I've got four different varieties here. I like growing a range of colors. So there's a purple one, um, there's one called Flame Star. Graffiti is the purple one. And then Amazing is kind of a good classic white standby variety. Um, you can get all different kinds of cultivars for them. We're going to seed them into trays because these are destined to go out into the community with my free plant program. So these are nice pull apart trays. And as soon as they get about this big, that's when I'll send them out to community gardens and some home gardeners here in the New Orleans area. So I'm preparing my tray and we're going to use a basic seed starting mix here. We've talked about this before in other videos, but what this is is a sterile potting media. It's very light. You can see how light it is. It's a little moist, but it's not saturated and it doesn't have any fertilizer in it presently. Now, because I'm growing these transplants to maybe three pairs of leaves, true leaves, I'm going to add a little fertilizer and this is just a basic 888 you can get this at any garden center. It's an all-purpose fertilizer. And I like to just lightly apply it to my potting mix. That way those transplants, if I need to hold them for a few weeks, I can, and they're not gonna get too leggy. They're not gonna turn yellow. They've got plenty of nutrients right in the soil and I don't have to do a liquid feed. Um, a lot of folks like using fish emulsion or miracle Grow. That's a good liquid feed for your transplants. It's easier for me with the volume that I'm doing just to add it right into my potting mix. So it's really up to you. Either way works um, as long as there's some nutrition there in that potting soil. So we're going to mix that in. And I'm very imprecise about this. I've been doing it a while. <laughs> so you can look up some, some standard fertilization rates in that vegetable growing guide that we talked about. And I like to just do one little section at a time, and then I fill my tray out of that section, then I add some fertilizer to the next section. It works for me. You'll find out what works for you in your home gardening setup. So we're going to take that potting mix, and we're going to fill this tray. You see how light this is. I'm not packing it down into the pots. We want it nice and light so that the seeds can really take root. more. Okay, so that's full. And let's start with our amazing. And on the back of many of the seed packets that you might be using, they do have um, the ideal temperature for sprouting them, the seed depth. That's what we're really looking for right now. So right here it says cauliflower a quarter to a half an inch deep. So a quarter to a half an inch deep what I like to do is kind of pre-do my holes, that way I can seed a little faster. And I just do that with my finger. So your first knuckle is about a half an inch. Depends on how big your hands are. <laughs> but for me, that's what works. So I'm just making a little indent in all my pots. Open this up. Cauliflower seeds are a typical brassica. They're round. They look just like broccoli or mustard seeds, turnip seeds. Everything in that family looks kind of the same. And I'm going to try to seed, you know, do my best to seed one to two per cell. If you get two in there, that's okay. We can always separate them out later before we transplant into the garden. We are going to lightly cover the 
some additional potting soil and I like to just kind of shake it over the top here. We're not pressing it down at all, but I am kind of spreading it up and over those seeds so that they're nice and covered. And most importantly, we are going to label this tray because especially if you're seeding a lot of things, you're going to is. Um, with the brassicas, especially when they're young, they all look kind of the same. So it's really important to have a label that travels with your transplants at all times. Okay, so all that's left now is to water this tray. I'm going to hold off until I have a bunch of them seeded. And here in South Louisiana, it's too hot for these to be in the direct sunlight. So it's best to have them under some sort of protected area. I have an area that's 50% shade cloth. You can use a carport, you can use a porch, just some area where they're gonna be in the shade, but there's still plenty of ambient light. That's very important so they don't get leggy. And then also to protect them from the heavy rains because here in New Orleans, we do get a lot of heavy rains in the afternoons and that can wash your seeds and your potting soil out. So you do wanna have a protected area. For me, that 50% shade cloth works very well because it diffuses the heavy rains. It still gets everything watered under there and it's a nice shaded environment. So that's the perfect spot for these things to get started.